Well, that that's the thing is that the hard thing about organizations is that most people individually do not recognize the nature of an organization. Mm-hmm. Is they have a perspective that they embody, and and it's not inherent to not inherently easy to see how the situation you're in is actually determinative of of how your mind is actually working so so you the example there is actually really good is there's there's two very similar groups in the sense of they are schools <laughs> they have about 250 people and you know there's some f- surface features that are very similar but then when you take and it probably doesn't take long <laughs> to look a little closer and say, oh, this group is probably, you know, in a cultural sense, highly similar. And this group is highly differentiated in, in, in a cultural sense. Right. And so that one feature being homogenous uh, uh, or not <laughs> um, changes everything. <laughs> right and and so the response to that is is different it's it's they're they're facing similar issues in terms of we've got a large you know 250 people is actually a lot of people and we've got to make decisions and then how do we do that well in one case we do it one way and in the case we do it another but the underlying critical feature is that what matters is that voices are heard and that and that that individuals feel that their their expressions their contributions are heard right so it's both it's both receiving and giving <laughs> uh, yeah. that this is where the the agentic engagement is a crucial insight that that Reeve introduced into self generation theory in 2011 is to say it's not just the it, it's not just a internal process it is a social process and that was the crucial right. insight that agentic engagement brings, is to say agency is not a consequence of individual personal thought and interactive thoughts. It is something that goes out into an environment and gets a response. And, and if, if that environment is welcoming of agency, in other words, the individual expressing agency, then, then that becomes a self-fulfilling kind of process. Is it, it's, it's positive reinforcement for acting in the environment. And you just came up with a different way of doing it than Ithaca did. You know, right. in Rochester, it occurs one way because we know that my speculation would be that group dynamics at 250 is very different. <laughs> Not speculation, actually, pretty confident knowledge. Uh, <laughs> that 25 people is a lot different than 250. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the dynamic is going to be different and the listening is going to be different. And and it doesn't not it's not 250 that's the crucial thing. It's the diversity. You can you can have a lot less, a lot more homogenous sense of values and sense of contribution and sense of of personal relationship with 25 people is different, truly different than than 250 people. Right. And it, so it comes back to a psychological pattern, is that mm-hmm. I can relate to 25 people. I cannot relate to 250 unless there's certain other things in alignment right you know and, and so it's more complicated to make it happen exactly exactly yeah um and so so what you have found you you've overcome a harder problem <laughs> and and you found ways to do it though and and you've done it over a long term that's the that's the magic and beauty of it is that that you found solutions and then you changed your solutions over time i um, mean you had the opportunity to at a cafeteria, to add a gym, to add staff that, that we're going to support, support the whole person that you're serving. So being able to change and shift and, and to see continuity through a, a complete change of demographics is actually really amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, not, every, not every school, even traditional schools, uh, do mm-hmm. well in that, in that process. But I think that's also where setting up more democratic processes gives you more resilience. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency 
to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.